stuff here. What's going on, guys? Welcome to a deck, a modern deck critique here by uh, patron and subscriber Josh VS. Um, we were playing a Baleful Liege deck in the Chaos Draft about a week ago, and Josh was like, wow, that card's pretty cool. Maybe we can play something with that in modern. And I was like, yes, that sounds sweet. Let's do that. So he brewed up this list. And um, one of the things he mentioned... I have to find... Here it is. Um, he didn't think the concentration of planes was high enough for Amiria the Sky Ruin, and I agree with that. We only have one, two, three, four, five. We only have nine, and we need seven of them. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, so he suggested instead having uh, Handwire Battle Monster Slayer Stronghold. But here's my problem with that. <clears throat> these seven cards, these ten cards, are the only ones in our deck that can even be cast with Handwire Battlements or Slayer Stronghold because they have Colorless in their casting cost. You can't actually add Colorless and cast any of these uh, 26 cards with a Slayer Stronghold or a Handwire Battlements because they just produce Colorless, I believe. I believe Handwire Battlements. Handwire Ba. Yeah, it just makes colorless. So that's one of the problems with that. Um, I don't actually mind Sun uh, Mistvale Planes. Mistvale Planes is nice because you can actually put back instants or sorceries. I guess it's just instants. Um, with Mistvale Planes. So I think that's good. I actually like a Mistvale Planes. So you can like put back your Master Warcraft and then research it out with the Sunforger. That seems kind of cool. Plus you have four Knight of the White Orchid. I wonder if 23 lands is actually okay when your curve stops at three. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Give me actually, I'll just wait till the, I'll wait till I'll let go to voicemail. Uh, I'm getting a call about my car right now. It is dropped off, so we'll see. Sea Monk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Hajigal Ashi, thanks for the resub. Really appreciate that. Um, and I'm actually tempted to add like one more goblin, one more figure, or one more Boros charm. Hmm. Like gaining six, like bail. Maybe you just want a fourth Balefire Liege. Uh, I believe you can search it out. It searches for a planes card, so you can search for Misfail Planes, or you can search for uh, any of the Sacred Foundries as well. All right, and he said, sideboard, I was thinking Slayer Stronghold, and it also occurred to me that wear tear might be reasonable inclusion over one of the ley lines and a rest in peace. I don't know what I'm looking for. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Oversoul of Dusk also seems hard to cast, right? I mean, you need five white sources. I guess you do have white sources, though. I guess everything is literally a white source, so maybe not. Yeah, it's actually, actually, it's pretty unbeatable. It's also a 10-10 with a light from within. That's pretty crazy, huh? Hey, that's like a progenitus. Spent like an hour to make sure I can sub. That's a, that is commitment, and I really appreciate that. That is awesome. All right, so we need one card. I feel like it's just another creature. We only have 16 creatures. I kind of want to maximize Baleful Lieges. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add one more Baleful Liege. I'm gonna wait for this voicemail to come through and then I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it real quick. I'll see if I owe a million dollars or if I owe three hundred dollars. All right, give me one second. <clears throat> Let me listen to this and like this trade.
All right, I think we're going with the additional bail Felige. But I also have to give them a call back. So give me one second, guys. I'm going to give them a call back, and then I'll... Uh, I just have to get this taken care of, and I can't do it on stream. Unfortunately, it's going to be in the video, but what are you going to do? You can skip past it on the YouTube, so that should be fine. Great, Grim. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, give me one second, guys. I, uh, I'm i going to just go to the break screen, but uh, I'll be right back. Give me like two minutes. It won't be long. I'm just going to make a quick call. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Hopefully I can... Maybe I'll edit that out of the video so you guys don't have to worry about that. All right, so apparently I really backed into this uh, this post. Apparently it's it was pretty bad. So uh, he's going to have to replace like a rear aluminum bar because uh, it's pressed up against everything and he can't really straighten it out. So that's going to be like 185, but I don't know. Top end he's looking at is like 685 for everything. So that's not terrible, but boy, what a dumb mistake. What an absolute boner of a mistake. I think I think the post is showing me who's boss, really. I think this is definitely a it got the last laugh situation. Yeah, I think I think 23 lands and four Knight of the White Orchids is fine. I think this deck looks sweet. I am gonna let's do it. This is a spirit horror, just in case you guys didn't know. Alright. MTG Pyro, thanks so much for the resub. Six months? Harkalada, you can actually hear the story in one of the previous videos, maybe like two or three days ago. Um, I just basically was at a post office. I was trying to pull out and leave, and uh, it was raining, and the my rear, my rear window and my rear camera was all fogged up, so I couldn't really see great out of it, and I backed into one of those tiny yellow poles. Event is full. All right, well, that's fine. Like the, the yellow poles that are probably like two to three feet tall. I ran into a post at the post office. That's uh, it's fair. 
Can I get your opinion on Dream Eater? I don't even know what Dream Eater is. So, you can get my opinion on it, but I'd have to know what it is first. The most frustrating thing for me about spoiler season is that they're never contained in any one place. Like, Wizards will put up four four new spoilers a day, and then, like, maybe three others on other sites. So, like, you'll get seven new spoilers a day, but they're never collected in the same place at the same time, right? Like, it takes until the very next day for the card image gallery to get updated. So, you're like, oh, well, I don't get to see these today. I guess I'll, I'll see them tomorrow. MTG Salvation is just a confusing format to me, though. Like, I'll go to MTG Salvation, right? And there's no uniformity, as far as I can tell. So I go to Guilds of Ravnica, 52. Or how, how quickly this is updated, actually? Oh, they, they must have improved this a lot. Like, a good amount. All right. Well, this is actually not bad. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's look at this Dream Eater. Oh, Dream Eater. I like that it's a... I can, I can, I can do a play on Dreamweaver. Six mana for a 4-3 with flash and flying. Okay, I'm not... I'm not terribly on board with that, but it does. it is a Nightmare Sphinx, which puts me back in. When it enters the... Real. Real is all you can say. Like, come on. Let's use our English words. When it enters the battlefield, surveil four. So you're, I'm going to say scry. You're scrying four. When you do, you may return target non land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. When you do. Why when you do? That's weird. I mean, it's a, it's a six mana mana war that lets you surveil for. It's weird because why is it a mythic? It doesn't feel mythic. Are any of us real? Whoa. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, that's pretty hilarious, actually. Okay, this uh, we got a, we got a double Boros Swift Blade, boys. Uh oh, goblins. We got a Lightning Helix. Balefire Leaf seems pretty good against this deck if we can get it. I think the wording is weird because it says when you do. Why not just when it enters the battlefield, surveil four, return target non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. I guess it happens on the scry, or on the surveil, so like if they counter the surveil, you don't get to actually bounce anything, which is interesting. Rogue Optic, two months in a row, thank you so much, really appreciate it. Big fan, big fan. I wonder what dreams taste like. I'm a big fan of yours, by the way, I really love your shriek turn. You and me both. Glad I could ruin Eldr help ruin Eldrazi for you guys. Oh, look what's happening right now. Big fan. Kill you with bushwhack things. Take seven. Would I rather have a lightning bolt than a Boros Swift Blade? Probably. Well, we have enough mana for... Frank was on the PT. You know what, buddy? <laughs> you know what? Your name is something else. Oh my god, do you really have another one? Okay, no you don't. They do have haste, though. This is a little scary. Oh my god, what's happening right now? He's gonna be like, no, I'm out. Assassin's Trophy? I haven't really seen many of the cards. I'll probably do a Frank's thought, Frank Thoughts tonight. And I'll talk about a bunch of these nerds. Oh, Assassin's Trophy? Yes, I have. That card is not real. There's no way that's a real card. 
It's fake. It's totally fake. No, it's real, but I mean, like, good lord. 100% blocking here. What just happened? Oh, it died. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Why did it die? Because that's how combat works, Frank. I understand now. I don't really feel like playing either of these because we don't have to crack them yet if we don't need to. And I can just sit behind this guy. I'm not going to play another Swift Blade. I'd rather just have the Helix. Yeah, being able to kill uh, an Eldrazi, not an Eldrazi, like an Urza's Tower with the two mana instant speed. Like, I can't actually believe this card. The number of things it kills, Liliana of the Veil, uh, any Urza piece. It just does everything. It's unbelievable. It kills enchantments. It kills artifacts. Going to 12. Nice and healthy. La da 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 They have one card. Feel good about that. God, I can't believe what a bonehead mistake. Just I accidentally back into something at the post office and I'm like now I'm like six hundred dollars in the hole. It's just really silly. This dude. I don't know if we do attack with one. I don't think we get anywhere with attacking for one, where if they go guy, bushwhacker, it's really bad for us. I'd rather just have two blockers for that. It's going to save like three points, whereas we deal like two. Being able to just search out lightning strikes, lightning helix, helices is pretty good, though. Dude, Assassin's Trophy kills Karns and Ugins for two mana. At instant speed. That's pretty crazy. Let's go with this first. Yeah, but they get a land. Touche. Matthew Ori, like, seriously, in all, in all seriousness, I also feel like it's very, very strong. I feel like it's the kind of card that, like, you don't want... Um, it's, it's the same kind of card that you ban Mental Misstep for, because it invalidates a lot of strategies. Very, very easily. We can unattach this and get a... Uh, Lightning Helix? That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Alright, they were waiting for that so they can cast their other Reckless Bushwhacker, I'm sure. Because they want to surge it. Surge it up before you go, go. Don't leave me. No surge? Okay. Do you guys remember Soda? The Soda Surge? Oh, we do have lightning bolts in here. That's great news. I think we just go at your face here. Yeah, we want the life, so we're going to go with the face. Wait, what are these lands tapped for? I don't know, but I've been told. 
see if this guy is any good. We're actually going to play land here just so we can keep up Boros Charm. This should be dead. You're going to have to kill this guy, right? Got him! Don't care about you, don't care about you, don't care about any of you or any of you. Oversoul could be good, but five mana is a lot. Leyline could be okay. They can't target us with their things. Probably want it more than Path or Voros Charm. Everybody died. <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's just a super efficient answer, man. Two mana to destroy. Like, I'm looking for the restriction on the card, and it's just not there. I guess they, like... Like, I guess the restriction is an opponent controls, right? So you can't kill your own thing to search for a basic. I can't kill my 1-1 one, one to search for uh, a, a mountain if I need it, right? Like, that's that's a that's a consolation, I guess. But, like, it's good at 2 mana at instant speed, and it's good at 10 mana at instant speed. Oh, got that ley line. Keep it. Pop it. Pass it. Keep it, pop it, pass it. That's how we do here. We keep it and we pop it and we pass it. Well, you don't you wouldn't say trophy your thing. You'd probably say assassinate your thing, right? Like that just seems better. Don't be saying trophy your thing. That's not the verb. If it's an assassin's trophy, you I mean you, it's more likely you're assassinating it, right? That's old Bushy McWackerson. Well, I would have loved land that didn't come into play tap there, but that's life. I'm a trophy your face with that talk. That's aggressive. I, I didn't know we were on that level. I didn't know it was trophy face time, but here we are. Lightning Helix. I actually like playing this first and playing another Boros Swift Blade. They're both they both have the same toughness, so they're both gonna survive. Uh, whereas if we play this now, next turn we can go light from within. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. And hope we don't die to a surge. They're probably gonna go land, make two goblins, surge them up. I think we're not. I think we're dead. Doesn't feel good. Feels bad, man. Yeah, that guy doesn't matter if you got if you got the haste. And that's life. That's what all the people say. What is this spicy brew I've stumbled into? I'll never... Did I not update the deck list? No one has checked yet, so that seems good. Pact of the Titan. I'm cringing so hard right now. I think I did up the date in the deck list. Am I just better than I thought? Oh god, I'm so much better than I thought. Man, I'm good. 
All right, so let's say we block here. It's got trample. That doesn't matter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is actually fifteen. We're not dead. That guy's got. Oh, they all have first strike. So we're actually, we're actually pretty terribly positioned here. Wait, don't they die to the pact of the titan next turn though? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to two. They have to have like, they can't target us with anything though. Huh. Are we just, are we, did we just win? Oh, no. I see. That's sad. I felt good about that, and then I felt bad about it. <clears throat> Do you think everyone will pick and go guard because of AIDS? Oh, I don't think it's you're gonna have that much more likelihood of pulling one, right? Like it's just packs. I mean, you still just get packs. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know if they're doing like pre-release packs where they have like a specific guild-centric. Uh... I don't think that one card would make me any any more inclined to take it though. Like your odds are so slim. Like, Vindicate costs three mana, it's a sorcery. This hand seems amazing. Amazing! We're gonna go this guy, and then we're probably gonna miss a land drop, and then we're gonna play... No I don't know if we're gonna miss a land drop, that seems stupid. It's gonna be a ley line. It's always a ley line. Hey, it was a flagstones. I almost I think we just play this guy. I mean, they didn't just make Jun better. They made Sultai better. They made Abzan better. They made Black Green better. They made Splashing it better. And any, any like, the card is just nuts. Nutso in the butt so, as the kids say. I'm just gonna pass here. We can get value off this guy, and it's like we play land anyway. They did. They made permanents worse. Like, the, the problem with this deck is that you need a concentration of lands anyway, because you need at least one mana for any spell you play, and then two mana to surge. So three mana is definitely going to happen. So I'm not too concerned with that. That's rude. One surgy boy. No? No surgy boys? I'm going to helix now, though, because we have two. Yep. What up, little Willie? Mr. Stack? I guess it's just a planes. I don't think it's Misfail planes, though. I don't want to come to play tap because I want to be able to play Helix. Yeah, that seems fine. Because of a 4-4 four, four with light from within. Woof! See you later, bye. Why are you like this? Why are you the way that you are? I hate everything about how you choose to be. Alright, well. Oh god. Oh my god. I keep expecting the surge, but it never comes. This is what we said about the 90s. No, it's not going to work like that. Use this one and then this one. What? Why are you doing this? This and then this. There you go. Get it together.
This is not an ideal play for this turn, but... I mean, if they have double packed with the Titan into Surge, Goblin Surge guy, I think we might be dead, right? I don't think we're dead. Actually, they would probably die. But it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16, 18. This seems like a pro move that I don't understand. That's pretty funny. I'm going to get the Mist Veil Planes just because I don't want to uh, end up drawing it and having it come into play, on ta and come into play tapped. <clears throat> oh boy oh boy all right we'll take three creature be a baleful liege all right i don't hate it but Yeah, we're definitely killing your signal pest. <laughs> oh, House of Shadow, what's going on, buddy? Three Lightning Helix seems good against the aggressive red deck that has one card left in their hand. I'm okay with it. Baleful Liege. We put four in the deck for a reason. You know what? Sure. Actually, we'll keep up the Mistvail Planes because we can actually start using it. One, two. Mog Fanatic, activate now or forever hold your peace. And now we can shuffle in. Are you going to ram me Napper ruins me? I bet you are. Wait, can they not? Oh, they can't anymore. No, it's each opponent. Never mind. It's not targeted. They can. I got real excited for a second. I'm just going to play this because we can actually s put a uh, Lightning Helix back and then shuffle the deck to give ourselves a higher chance to hit it. Planes don't shuffle. I don't know what you're saying right now. I'm not saying it shuffled back in. I'm saying it just goes back in the deck and we have other ways to shuffle it. Such as Whoa, we were skinny. What's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Baleful str You can play which creatures attack this turn, you choose which creatures block and how they block. Alright, so I can just be like no attacks. That's actually that's actually pretty good. It's basically a fog for for whatever turn I'm gonna need it. Which I don't think is right now. Yep. Going to eleven. One time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lands. I feel like we're so close, we're just not drawing things, which is really sad. That's fine, because it doesn't have haste. So I'll take another four. Watch, we're going to draw Sunforge. Are you ready? Well, that guy's never, uh... That guy's never hitting a land, but it is a 4-4 right now, so that's pretty good. Now I want the Sun Forger. Do you still do Stips? Haven't seen you. Uh, yes, I have. I do have, we haven't, we haven't gotten many from, uh, from this Legacy Cube yet. So if you guys are interested in doing stipulations, let me know. We can, uh... We can throw them up. We're going to be doing one after these modern matches today, actually. 
Is this worth it? Yes, because they have signal pest. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure we're just attacking with this guy. <laughs> is this your way of being hyped for Ravnica? Yeah, this is how I show my hype. I'll block. Ideally, they have a lightning bolt and they forget about the first strike, but... Can I pay for sips with bad jokes? Actually, if you paid with bad jokes, I would reverse sip and take away stipulations that you might have wanted in the past as well. So, you just think about your actions. Sunforger. Lucky, 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 lucky. Get on top. I guess I'm hoping two of your cards are not lightning bolts. And they are. And now we're dead. We can block here and we take four. I don't like the Boros Charm. I don't think it does anything. It's a little too aggressive. I'd rather have more cards that affect. I also like Lightning Bolt more than Path because we're trying to burn them out. Well, that was sad. Well, let's get a Sunforger. Okay, here you go. Ha ha ha, joke's on this idiot. His opponent has a smash to smithereens, you see. I don't know if I like Master Warcraft that much, which is weird to say. I also think we can cut down to two light from within. I don't think you ever want to draw that many of them. Let's go. Let's actually cut both of these. We'll add another Swift Blade and we'll add another Hearthfire Hobgoblin. about timely reinforcements on the sideboard that seems good right i don't know why i don't, I don't know if i like these swords very much and oversoul seems a little too cute i'm gonna add three timelies to the sideboard i mean i don't know if i should i'll probably add two timelies just for this burn matchup and uh one wear tear Is Hobgoblin better than the Reckoner? That's a question I was wondering as well. The Double Strike is obviously very good with things like Sunforger, but I think it's actually... I think... I think Reckoner might be better. I mean, don't get me wrong. This guy is amazing. Hobgoblin is great with, like, a Light from Within... Or a Baleful Liege, because then it's either a 5-5 or a 4-4 with Double Strike, which is huge. But just having a 5-5 or a 6-6... Six, six, with Boros Reckoner by itself is pretty good, especially because it makes their combat hard. Let's try this out, I think. Lucky, 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 lucky. Running some Baleful Strix in modern. Baleful, Baleful Liege. Let's play first. Ooh. 
This is what it feels like when Frank cries. This is a mulligan. Yeah, I had a feeling we were going to mulligan into zero lands. Yep. Like you do. You too, he said as he mulliganed to five cards. Did you see the awful Metallica cover of Dove's Cry? I don't actually seek out or uh, really indulge myself in Metallica content. Like, if I see a Metallica video, I'm probably just going to avoid it. Yep. You know what? Cool. Four on the play. I think it's funny the number of viewers I have with uh, with pot references in their names. Smoke a dope four twenty. We got kind buds. Lightning strike with jump start. I don't know what that is. Yep, we're having a good time. Pernicious dube. Perfect fits you will be. On a, on, a, on a long enough timeline, you'll always end up in the bathtub. Think about it. Think about it. They, they, they do love those jazz cigarettes. Unfortunately, LaFoaf doesn't know what a jazz cigarette is. But... That's okay. Yep, we're doing good. I'm going to go to the next game now. Uh, yep, all right. Had a good time. Everybody had a good... Everybody fought well. Everybody played hard. I don't think our sideboard's good against this deck at all. Rest in Peace doesn't really matter. Stony Silence doesn't really matter. Blood Moon doesn't really matter. Timely is maybe okay, but not really. Like, if they get an Azuri out, you're just dead. What a match. I'm still... This sounds better than indulging in the electric lettuce and watching it. <laughs> Holy shit, please call it the electric lettuce forever. The electric lettuce. Oh my god. Oh, perfect fits. I appreciate the congrats, but... um, So, gifted subs are not like... They're not super genuine, you know what I mean? Like... It's more like just a, a potential boost. It's not like I earned 500 subs, right? Dematab, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Electric lettuce. Oh my god, dude. That's amazing. I could not be more of a fan of the electric lettuce. All right, here we go. One path and one sunforger. That's all I could really ask for. What happened with the car? I already, I already told you guys. I already said it. Oh, uh, Tanos is uh, uh, an incredible individual. Let me, let me put it that way. Tanos uh, gifted 137 subs. So 685 worth of subs. Josh VS uh, gifted 35 subs, which is 175. Like it was a pretty ridiculous day. Those guys are uh, quite generous with their with their support with their content support. Let's that's putting it that's putting it mildly. I think. Ah. I think any card is good with 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 jumpstart, right? Like, I mean, jumpstart may be worse than flashback in my opinion, but that doesn't mean it's not good to just have on a, on a card, right? Like, it's just an ability, so like, it's always better than not having it. As far as as long as you're not like sacrificing too much on the front end, right? Like, if it's a lightning strike that costs four with jumpstart, eh, you're probably pushing it. Path the Mystic seems good. 
It's gonna be other flagstones. Ah, it's close. Surprisingly close. And we'll just play this. Zora, the sub gift train is on YouTube. You can check it out there if you'd like. Oh my god, that's really interesting. The problem with the gifting of the subs is that $685 worth of subs does not translate to me getting $685. That would be amazing if I got every dollar that a sub gave. Thank you. Steel Legion, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Not going to path anything here. No, that's a big boy. I think we're dead, but, you know, we'll just play it out for the sake of it. Did you see the, the spicy new abrupt decay? Um, yes, we did. We were literally just talking about that before you got here. Yeah, right now I get half. The thing is, and I've mentioned this several times, but, you know, it's it's different for every stream. The Who's who's listening and who's, who's aware. Um, if you are able to maintain 500 subs for, for two months... You get a much you get a much larger portion of your subscriber revenue. So I'd have to maintain this for two months. I don't think I can, because before the gifts we were not we were closer to four hundred than five hundred. I don't think we're there yet. But if some by some miracle I was able to maintain five hundred for two months, instead of just the the one month after the gifted subs expire, we might we might have we might have a. I don't know what I was going to say there. We might have a... Okay, this is just sad. So if I path one of these idiots... I think we're still dead, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thank you. Everybody died. Drink surge. <laughs> Elk tears, always a pleasure, buddy. I'm pretty sure we're just dead. The one dollar resubs will, will help, but I don't think like there's people who don't even watch my stream anymore just because you know they've moved on or like they they have they're busy with their lives or whatever, and they're messaging me and they're like, hey, I, I when did I when did I subscribe to your sub and or when did I subscribe to your channel and I'm just like, don't worry about it. It was because it started pulling the the gifted subs started pulling from like random people who have been subscribed at one point in time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, we go to two here. All right, we're alive. I don't know how we can stay alive, but all right, this is a good match. At least round one was pretty close. All right, anything we want to change here? God, is Sunforger just too cute? It takes eight mana to really get a value off of, off of it. I'd almost rather just have Sword of Fire Knights because it gives you protection and it also gives you... Um, what's the other thing I'm looking for? Let's add another figure. I think figure is probably where you want to be here. Uh, it gives you protection and it's drawing you a card anyway, so you don't get the free value like you would off the other one. But... I think that's still fine.
Yeah, if you don't think streaming five days five days a week is hard, then you have never streamed. I think uh, it is actually it, it's 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 not ju you're not just playing Magic, right? Why do you only have bad draws when you play my decks? Expect better, Frank. But <laughs> I appreciate it, uh, despite the it's uh, it's literal burnout. Like that, you can actually see the burnout. It's 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 visible after I've done like thirty Dominaria drafts. I'm just like I don't feel like doing this anymore. I don't want to be entertaining. I don't want to be funny. Um, it's not about like it, just because you're not visibly dying on the outside doesn't mean that like that it's not work, right? Like that's not the that's not the that's not the requirement, right? Like something isn't only work if it looks like you're dying on the outside or like if it's exhausting to do. And streaming is pretty emotionally exhausting. After five hours of streaming, I'm just like, okay, I'm kind of burnt out now because you've been talking for five hours. Like, you know, that's, that's what people don't understand. Like, you're literally thinking the entire time. If you're working at an office job, you're likely not making nearly as many decisions as you are when you're streaming magic and every single turn is comprised of numerous decisions. Like, I mean, say what you want, but I think we can all agree that after a magic event, like if you go to play a, a PPTQ or even FNM, right? Like for five rounds of FNM. You get exhausted. You're emotionally exhausted. And if you haven't have been drinking or staying hydrated, you'll usually have a headache. Because it's it's an exhausting thing. Like, it's mentally exhausting, which is a real thing. Mental exhaustion is real. So, like, the fact that you're doing that five days a week while also talking the entire time, trying to be funny, trying to be entertaining. Like, I don't think anyone realizes no one has conversations for five, six, seven hours in a row. In real life, it just doesn't happen. So having to do that, like no job are you talking for five, six, seven, eight hours a day. It just doesn't happen. But on stream, it's almost a requirement. I'm going to keep this because any one land lets us Knight of the White Orchid here. I don't think talk radio, no talk radio host has a show for seven hours, for six. There's no talk radio show that has a six hour show. And the ones that do are only talking in between music. So like, I mean, that's, I think that's actually, I know you're just kidding, but like, it's still totally different. And I'll actually get super, uh, not defensive, but like, I will defend it. You know, because I think it's, like, it's, streaming is nowhere easy. Like, people look at it, and they think because this thing that you're doing is a hobby for many people, that it's not work if you commit yourself to doing it five days a week, six days a week. And that's just not true. That's pretty good. Telemarketers are different because while they're on the phone, they do have breaks. They do have like half an hour breaks. Joe Rogan does two to three hour podcasts a day. Yes, two two three hour podcasts. I don't think Joe Rogan ever does two because he he would. I, I don't think he can get guests scheduled for. Maybe he does, but that's still only six hours sometimes, right? Like that's still a little different. Plus, he's also sharing the burden with someone else during a podcast. It's him and his guests, so they're talking about one another. And the other thing I was going to say, um, I forgot what it was. I was on something there. I'm pretty sure we're just tagging for one here and then swift blading. I totally forgot what I was going to say there. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I was on a rant. Morgan, you're the best. Thank you so much, buddy. Mad respect, Bits. They can let Elon smoke some electric lead. <laughs> yeah, like the Elon Musk episode was great. It was like over two hours. It was two hours and 40 minutes. But on the same hand, Elon Musk did most of the talking. And that's not to take away from that. You know, don't get me wrong. That's not to say like... Joe Rogan isn't working his, his ass off because I will I will I will one hundred percent say that he is.
Land. Oh, I guess we don't need to land. We got we got we got this jabroni. We're gonna get this. Take two. Bolt the bird. Get in there. Oh my god. I guess we're just attacking with... If they block here, they take six. Yeah, we're just attacking with you. Yeah, if you don't block, we're just going to play Sword of Fire and Ice. Also, OMG Zoro wasn't not offended. Like, totally, totally understand where you're coming from. I think, uh, I think it just, I think we took it a little too. I took it a little too seriously. But I mean, I, I also think it's a good discussion to have because I think anyone who's like, you just play Magic for a living, no big deal. Um, it's like someone who watches movies right for their job and they watch movies for like six to seven hours a day. Like, it gets, it, it has to. That would be exhausting. Like, I wouldn't want to do that. That's it. That was it. That was the one I was going to say. The telemarketers one was the one I was going to get at. That's what I, I forgot. Um, so for a telemarketer, they are using scripts. So they're not going to have to come up with their own things. Also, there's a significant amount of downtime in between calls. So like, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's, it's not really synonymous, right? Like you're not coming up with new things. You're almost on autopilot for a lot of the time. If we get a land here, it's probably pretty good. All right. Well, that's pretty good. One problem is if they have a path, they get to path this guy. So I think we're just going to get real here. And like I would definitely argue that playing magic on, you know, for for a stream is it's probably more fun than a lot of other jobs. Like it's more fun than working at Target or it's more fun than working at an office or an insurance company, right? It's it's probably more fun than those things. I mean, if you want to kill this guy in response, that's fine because I don't think you can kill this guy and kill this guy with two cards in hand. So you're probably I guess we have to choose you. Sure. Um, so it's probably true that like I have more fun playing you know, in a regular day. But, you know, that's not to say it's not exhausting. See in quotes. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Back in the wagon. I've got to be like two year subscriber if I could stop missing months. I forgive you. Oh, God. Here we go. Devoted Druid. And they're just going to play the... Um, Yep, and they're just gonna play the other dude that's in their hand. But then they have no they have nothing to do with the mana, I guess, so. Alright. Sure. Okay, double knight. Double knight, double knight, gum. Yeah, you have to block everything here, so that's pretty that's pretty fine. We can also play light from within. Oh, we actually, we could just pump this guy, right? That seems cool. Shut up and take my money. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Five mental health bucks. Blue Dream, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I think it's always cool winning with uh, Figure of Destiny in the float zone, if you can.
And that'll do it. Oh, OMG's over. I definitely saw that. I didn't I didn't understand. I didn't I didn't take it as such. Um, I think Leyline could be good if they're going for like walking ballista. Maybe. Is rest in peace good? I don't know. Take out the Boros Chomp. <clears throat> Whoops, excuse me. Maybe Stony Silence, just because, again, Walking Ballista, but I think that's pretty narrow. Uh, I'll be drafting after these modern matches. And we have a stipulation from... From actually Doomsday 1981, so... They play Ronus right now? I didn't know that. 12 work is hard, but at least you have an awesome chat. Cool cat bits. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand lighting helix and we do have the Baleful Strix we've always wanted. Thank you. Aloha, brother. Seven months in a row. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Like, it's also, like, you can actually, if anybody who hangs out with me might even notice the toll it takes. Like, if you stream for six hours a day, like, whenever I'm done streaming, I just want to, like, sit there and stare into space. I don't want to do anything. Because I just want to kind of decompress and, like, refill. Because I've just been talking for six hours. I've just been thinking strategically for six hours. And it's it's pretty exhausting, actually. I know I've, I know I've mentioned that, but, like, it's just funny. Like, you can actually see the, the difference it makes in someone. Because I'll kind of just be like... And I'll just kind of hang out and, and stare. Like, I just don't want to talk. I don't want to, like... Because it's just... You're just drained. You're just you're just exhausted. And it's like... Like I said, it's not physically demanding work. It's not like I'm working construction, right? But... It is a thing. Like... Okay, that could be problematic. Since I need to stare at the trees for half. Yeah, it's just true. It's like sometimes you just don't want to talk. I don't want to be in a community. I don't want to have a conversation. I just want to sit here and not have to think about how to respond to you. I actually wonder if, if, if we would help with unwinding. This has actually crossed my mind. I say that, you know... As someone who has never smoked, I've never really drank anything, but like, I am aware of its medicinal properties, and I know I'm an anxious person by nature, so. I stress about everything, so I'm like, God, work for Kevin Smith. Yeah, the people who are like, dude, you sit at a computer all day, really don't understand it. Like, it's really hard to kind of break through that stigma where they're like, you just sit at a desk all day. I'm like, we're not talking about physical exhaustion. I'm not talking about, like, I go home, my legs and my muscles are tired. You know, like, that's not the same thing at all. Huh. We're going to kill this guy now, because if we don't... I don't want them to block... Not the electric lettuce. Kevin Smith is I actually have a, a like a picture of Kevin Smith on my desktop because I was so blown away by it. And I've been Kevin Smith was who like when I first went to college I and you know all through that and even now I still I wanted to write movies I wanted to write movies and Kevin Smith was one of my biggest inspirations for wanting to do that. 
uh, because Clerks is one of my favorite movies of all time. He made it on like a ten thousand dollar budget. He sold everything and uh, maxed out his credit cards to make Clerks, and he it was super successful. Oh my god, how many tireless trackers followed by fetch lands is too many. Decision making is an expendable resource, so like these things have been measured, people still disparaging mental effort just aren't... Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that completely. I think it's just this old antiquated notion of like, if you're not out working in the steel mill... And you're using your your noggin. You're, it's just not as exhausting. Like, and you're just an idiot. I think if you think that you're just actually like an archaic Neanderthal man that doesn't understand that. It's like this. It's like the old school thought of like physical labor and physical talent is more impressive than uh, mental or emotional, you know, stress. Like, it's just not true. Oh my god. Jesus. Nope, that's... Yeah, actually, that's fine. Can you just use all the mana that I got in my pool right now? Hey, I work in a... Do you really? That's awesome, actually. And don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not, like, saying... I wasn't... I literally said nothing disparaging about working in a steel mill. You are uh, the backbone of, of America, buddy. You know, if that's true. So we're definitely bringing in the wear tear here. Wow, I never said that. Don't quote me as saying working in a steel mill is the worst. I love all my steel mill viewers. You are the ass bone of America. That's accurate. Congratulations on that. Congratulations on your ass bonedness. Archaic <laughs> Neanderthal man <laughs> coming this fall to ABC. Do do do. So they could just never block, right? And then we'll have to find five different answers to creatures plus six. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. Well, we found one. Two, three, four. This guy. I feel like we can kill this guy now because we can. I totally forgot we were playing magic, which is great because it means like I'm doing a good job as an engaging streamer. Um, so much so that you like forgot what we were doing. Yeah, we attack, they just take it. So we're just gonna pass here. Could've played a land there. 100 ass bone bits. Had to be done. I Oh, I see. Well, that's fine, I guess. You got a forest in your hand? Got a company in the... That's a lot of mana you got there. You gonna just make a million mana? Okay. Yeah, smoking Dope 420. Mail me the weed. That's a good idea. Mail me the weed. Mail me that... Those, those kind buds... What could possibly go wrong? Kind Buzzes continue to gift sub they got from Josh VS. They're one of 3,058 gift subs to continue this September. That's amazing! Beer Man Man, what's going on, John? Good seeing you, buddy. It said 100 puppy bits? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I probably have the word ass blocked. So if you guys... um, Alright, so this is just them getting... What do they get? Like, they get Pride Mage to kill this, and then they get uh, Walking Blister to kill us, and it takes like a million mana in a million years. Let me eat your friend? Oh my god, when was that quote even added?
parents work for the post office in the U.S. Don't mail it here. That is correct. P please do not do that. I think it, we might. I don't know who would get in trouble. Who the uh, the risk would fall upon? But I, I don't. I don't think it works out well for either of us. That is my conclusion. Someone also came in the chat earlier and was like, "Hey, nice beard. I like your beard a lot." And I was like, "Okay, I accept that." Oh, we're having a real... We're doing a real thing here. I guess you can just attack with all these guys, but these all have summoning sickness, so... I guess this is your plan, to just put a bunch of counters on these idiots? It, the combo is slow online. I think their hope is that you just concede, which I'm going to do, because, good lord, my life is more important than this. But, like, it's just kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I don't know if I like the ley lines anymore. I kind of just want to burn your face times a million. When you sign for it, they realize, yeah, this is my package. Of course I'll sign for it. Hey, what's going on? Uh, I don't understand. I think I want to mulligan this hand, it's just not very good. They really do take the electric lettuce way too seriously. It is almost frighteningly serious. I'm going to keep it. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. That is my biggest uh that is my biggest issue is that when you mulligan I'm just like it's just going to get worse. It's legal in a lot of states, yes. Um it's getting more legal by the by the month actually, but Of course, it's the more proactive states like California, uh, Florida is actually surprised. Like we have medicinal, medicinal is legal, which is cool. Um, you know, Oregon, Seattle, like Washington, like the, a bunch of the more progressive states have it legal, but and that's weird. Even if it's legal in the state, it's still illegal federally, which is very, very strange to me. Like I don't even know how that works. I'll, I'll admit it. I'll admit that that's confusing to me. Like. So many druids. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure I want to kill both of these druids, but I don't know. Show me those druids again. Don't waste another druid on your grind. Sure. Kill it. Real mature. That druid committed suicide. Which is also no joke. I want to get one off the board. If they if they if they go to do something with the second one, I can just kill it as well. But I kinda wanna save the lightning bolt for a baleful liege. Oh, I see. You got that You got that collected company in hand. This is nice, because if we actually went to kill it, then they would have done that, so. I don't think there's really any harm in legalizing weed, and I think that's been proven. I think alcohol is a much more dangerous drug than weed. I, 
I, I don't even think that's I don't think there's a single study that would disprove that Well, I feel like we might be dead here, but we'll see. We're just going to Baleful Liege it up. If we can go Baleful Liege into Baleful Liege into Figure of Destiny next turn, if we can just survive this turn, I think I like our chances. Here we go. Well, I got a Baleful Liege and a Vizier. Oh, a Tireless Tracker. All right. And a Vizier. All right. Iliopate, what's going on? Well, you need a turn, so it does not have haste. Of course you drew three devoted druids and I'm out of burn spells. I mean, you need other cards to go off here, so. Just use all the mana I gave you. Shoot your face every day. This is exciting. So they only have three, four, five. They could potentially have six power on board, and if they want to block with both of these, I'm really fine with that. Oh, you're just gonna, what are you doing here? Okay, sure. Okay. Strange timing there, but all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we have two turns. Here we go. Here we go. All right, don't care about that. I have two cards in hand. Sure. Wow, did you see those? Like, they the, when they came over, they were masterpieces of some kind. Maybe swords? I don't know. Yep. Tireless tracker on the top. Get on top! Sure. So you have one card in hand. You could feel the ruin, but then you lose your path. I mean it's just if it's just like if your if your if your last card in hand is Court of Calling, like it always is, then I guess we lose. Eternal Witness gets back collected company or path. Oh, getting back path path is pretty good. Alright, you're just getting back collected company. Sure. Yep. So we know one of them is a path. Noble Hierarch, don't care about you. Birds of Paradise, don't care about you. Okay. So you got a forest on top. Did you play a land this turn? You've played Field of Ruin. You have no cards in hand, so I don't know where you're... I don't understand what's happening here. Sure. Oh, you get the Tireless Tracker, I guess? All right. Now you get two clues. All right, this is actually working out pretty well. You get to draw a tireless tracker. And then uh, most assuredly the next card will be, hey, it's a forest. All right, so you got a tracker. All 
I mean, we have three damage here. If we top take a Boros Charm, we actually just win on the spot, which is pretty, pretty insane. So you're drawing a forest, then you get to then you get three clues. Just, what are you doing? Oh, you're cracking the clue. Sure. All right. So you got forest in hand, and then you have field in hand. Okay. You're done now, right? There's so much going on here. Just pass the turn, man. I was slamming five to make sure I could pump this guy. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Boros Charm one time. Flagstones of true care. That's terrible. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. We're one man away from actually like doing the thing here, right? We go one, two, three, we make this guy. Yeah. I mean, they have one turn to win, but I'm pretty sure they can. They play the Field of Ruin. This doesn't fly, right? <laughs> Comes on play tapped, right? Ugh. It's so bad. If it came into play untapped, that'd be sick. But also, we yeah, we'd actually win. We'd actually be able to deal... No, we'd actually be able to deal nine. No, because it's a red and a white. Yeah, it would be ten exactly if we had one more land. Oh, that's so frustrating. Monday morning blues bits. Now say that Monday morning blues is Monday morning blues is Monday blues. I can't. That is actually very hard to say. One, two, three, four. We play this. Well, I'll keep this one. If only red and white lands triggered Balefire Liege. Got a planes just in case. Yeah, it didn't do it. Okay, just making sure. I mean, it's possible they whiff, but they get, like, six draws, <laughs> which is pretty insane. Okay. If they play Forest, they only get three draws, which is much better. Yep, Field of Ruin. Okay. So we're going to get Forest on top. Yeah, I don't care about these guys. I don't care about you. Don't care about you. I mean, one more time, this is uh, surprisingly close. Sure. Tectonic Edge, you got it. So you get six draws. All right, let's see what they are. You have a forest in hand. This is the part for one and a half or two. Yeah, YouTube is uh, especially nice for that. Yep, don't care about this. Draw edge. There's a company. There's a catacomb. Which I guess is not going to matter because you're probably... Oh, are you going to draw the catacomb? Okay. So now you have Forest, Edge, Company, Catacomb in hand. And Forest. Okay. And Heath. Uh-oh. It's your boy. Yep, that's that's a good one. Hmm. 
sure. So now they're going to activate Devoted Druid to make a million mana and activate Duskwatch Recruiter half a million times. Like that? Does that count? I actually wonder how that's going to sound on uh, on the tubes of you. Yep, don't care about that. I always think it's surprising how many games come down to one life point or one mana. It's very interesting. Like this figure of destiny, like we could have just won last turn if we had literally one more mana. So you no longer have company. Forest Edge, Catacomb, Forest Heath. You have these five cards, plus you have these two, I guess? Maybe. Puts Knight of the Reliquary into their hand. Puts no cards into their hand. This is where you need to eat the Benny Hill music. Hey, you found a Shalai. Sure. How big do you have to make your guys in order to win the game, though? That's the question. Mm-hmm. Are we going to combat here? Is this enough? I don't know. Hmm. Good game. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good game. Oh, I had a good time playing against you, you see. So what is this? One, two, three, four, uh, 20, 30, 27, 29, 30, 31. So then I have to activate like one time. Yeah, I don't think we care about that. I think we'd rather just block 12. Sure. You're dead. Cool. <laughs> All right. What do you think that does? Like, what what part of your, like, social indoctrine... Like, what... Oh, God. What do you think that does is, uh, is really what I'm wondering. It's like that dude at the game store that's like, You're dead. <laughs> you, you can't... You can't win this game, so I don't know why you're even blocking. Like, okay, well, then I guess I'll just lose. I mean, it's going to happen naturally, right? So why are we... Concede. I'm good. Thank you, though. Appreciate the suggestion. You're dead. See, I actually probably would have conceded. 
But like the fact that you're gonna preemptive GG me and you're gonna say you're dead, like nah, I'm good, man. Cool. All right, we can close this guy. Uh, we can close uh, this guy. Like, display some some small amount of social grace of etiquette, and you'll probably get a great result. That's my that's my contribution to this chat. To today's that's today's stream suggestion. Don't act like an uncivilized Neanderthal to other people, and they will treat you reasonably okay. Yeah, this hand seems swift. This is a swift hand. Oh god. Goblin guide? Faithless looting. You're dead. Like, I don't understand, like, typing your dead typing the words you're dead in the chat never even crosses my mind. That's such a weird thing to say to someone. We discuss Assassin's Trophy only four times. Chalice. We got a spicy boy over here. Seems fine. Why did we capitalize good when we made this command? That's my question. As a stickler for all things. Rabble master. This is interesting. Playing this pre-combat is interesting because I'll block. And steal you a point, I guess. Seems good. Got a mountain for you. Probably killing the rabble master. Maybe. Interesting. I guess we're not. Now I'm just going to play this guy. The extra capital was a mistake. Oh, wow. Double Blood Moon. Not getting out of this, I guess. Never bring a second Blood Moon to a red white deck party. You're dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, my response was cool, but yeah, I think okay is good too. Okay. I don't think we need second Swift Blade here. They have one card. Yeah, we're this is fine. We could also kill one of these guys to get a second white. Oh, oh my god, I love it. I love it. I want more of it. Counter your own faithless looting. Hold on, let me read this chat. Unless they're actually, unless they're just memeing right now, because 
They want to show off the fact that they have two chalices of the. Why did you put it on one when you have one drops in your deck? I don't understand. Two wear terrors definitely coming in here. All right, what are we bringing in here? What did they have? We saw Rabble Master, Blood Moons, Chalices. I don't think we care about Path to Exile. I'll bring in both of these boys. I'll bring in one Rest in Peace. I like bringing in Blood Moon. Blood Moon for sure. Wow. Got a bunch of comedians up in here. You done messed up, hey, hey, Ron. Oh yeah, this hand is gas. We don't have any planes, but that's okay. You got it. Blood Moon to counter their Blood Moon, bring in the moons, more like Butt Moon. Okay, we did good. Not the basic we're looking for. However, if we do draw a Flagstones with Trocare, we're definitely going to be uh, getting two planes out of it. Don't kill my, my, my figure of destiny. I'm asking you very, very nicely. Ratchet Bomb. What did you... Oh, we're so good at this game! That's nice. Very nice. Okay, you got it. Like, you saw a two drop and a three drop last game. I don't understand with this ratchet bomb. Come on, Flaggy. Oh, we're still in the end combat step? Sure. Come on, Flaggy. Keep this guy. I will get a basic planes, like you do. Refreshing. Uh oh, here we go. Desperate ritual. Into Chalice for two. That doesn't really do anything. Alright, let's get in there, I guess. We will play a sword of fire and ice, and if they want to kill this kitchen kitchen finks. Oh, that's a figure of destiny, Dumbo. You got it. Pro Red seems pretty good. I almost want to play this. Next turn, play this. We miss a hit, but we're not going to be able to attack and... Yeah, we're just going to play this here. So they discarded two Desperate Rituals with their Faithless Looting? That's, fan that's, that's fascinating. This guy. Equip this guy. Pump this guy. So, can't get past this yet, but we do have two Wear Tears in the deck, so... They also have... They had two cards in hand. The odds of them being able to play at least one of them and make this... Uh, I guess we could have just left it a 2-2. Two -two. I don't know. I feel like this is a card uh, that we're not going to be able to deal with without a long-term solution. I don't think getting two in one or two times is really going to solve the problem for us. Huh. Well then. I guess we can still do it anyway. 
And now we don't pump this guy so that we have three power if they don't play anything next turn. Hey, Frank, you're a, good, you're a pretty good dad. What are you even saying, you, you're skinny? What are you even saying right now? You're being so strange. Sure. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide just so I can attack. Or so I can't attack. That's that's good. Really? One turn too late? That's sad. I guess we couldn't get out of land anyway, but... I guess we can't. They have Chalice on too. So we can't Lightning Helix them. If we draw enough bolts, we can probably kill them. Yep. Now no, now no one can attack. Anger of the Gods. This guy's got Pro Red. Sure. Well, our guys live, so. How does wear tear work? How do I kill this with wear tear? Does the, is the converted mana cost higher? Wow. Well, that's that's problematic. I guess we need two wear tears now. That's frustrating. God, I really want to kill the chalice too, just because this will be online. But oh boy, I think we I think we just I don't think we can win now. Triple ensnaring bridge is a hell of a drug. Bolt bolt. Actually, do we do have Bellfire leashes? That's actually pretty strong. We can we still have tons of game, I guess. Yeah, we're not gonna, we were definitely not firing these off for any reason whatsoever. Discard a Magus and a Mountain. Balefire Leash, oh goo. I'm actually gonna pump this guy in case they want to, uh, I don't know, burn it out, scred it or something. They don't even have any red sources, but. Chalice on one. Which gets countered because of your own Chalice of the Void. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. Also, we can still play these as red spells to trigger Balefire early. Use. So one, two, three, four, six, seventy nine, tell them. Yeah, they just we just we just killed them here. La da 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 Got him! Our deck is, is sweet and you should feel bad. Mike, are you still in the chat? Because I'll wait for you whenever you're ready and we can simul... Simul jump in. Jump in the line. I don't know where my mouse went. I think my mouse died. Yeah, it died. So I need to... I gotta plug me mouseums in. There we go. Okay. Mike. After this guy leaves the queue, we'll both hop in. When it's empty, we'll both hop in, okay? Let me know when you're ready. You're dead. <laughs> I should have been like, you're dead. I'm just going to type it in chat now. You're dead. Oh, oh, you're going to challenge me like this. Oh, I see. All right. 
Well. What happened? What was that? What am I getting notifications for? Okay. What's happening right now? I'm so confused. Do you want to jump in here? Are we jumping in here? Whatever you want to do. Challenge me now. We'll just play it. That'll be our last, be our last match of the Baleful Liege deck. Give me a challenge. Come at me, bro. Old Creaky, I calls him. All right. You're dead. Okay. I will play first. Oh, is he dead? Is Mike dead? I'm going to keep this hand. It's kind of slow, but I don't care. I wish my eye would stop itching, though. I'm stream sniping you. You better leave the stream. Oh, get busy sprawling. Gotta check out some mouse bones? Oh my god, what does that even mean? Land, land, land would be great here, surprisingly. We can go boop, boop, boop. And then we can go boop, boop, and then boop. Oh man, so much. This deck can actually do a lot of damage. I wonder if you want Simeon Spirit Guide. I think Light from Minda is kind of win, kind of win more. Oh, we did it. God, we're good at this game. Hit him with the boops. Every day we're hitting him with them boops. No, oh, I got a free land off the top of my library. I'm special. My name is Mike, and I like Garrick Wild Speaker. Whatever, man. Whatever, you nerd. This is not, this is not the life I've chosen. I'll double block. Pigs coming through. A little blog with my two creatures. Oh, no? Okay. Okay. Maybe I should have played Light Within first. Ooh, we don't have land for that, so. This seems fine. You know what? You can have your Utopia Sprowl. However, I will send this guy pack in so you don't get a free breeding pool. Oh, Christ. Boo, boy. Best magic card or greatest magic card? I don't think that's how that meme works. I'm pretty sure the meme is great magic card or greatest magic card. That is how that meme works. <laughs> is this the best magic card or is it the greatest magic? Those are the same things, right? Oh boy, my kingdom. Ugh. <laughs> it 
It gives your opponent a basic land. <laughs> oh, criminal. One, two, three. This is like four mana. God, my kingdom for a friggin' Fulminator Mage. Yeah, that card's broken. I wonder who can give me the best deals on singles. Oh, I have a time warp on the top of my deck. Bye, neighbors. Michael. Okay, got a time warp. That seems good. Did you play land this turn? I bet you did, because you're a big nerd. Way to play your island first, nerd. <laughs> got him! Did you see me got him? I think he was basically dead. I was like, why can't I play this land? Because you snapped off your friggin' island, you nerd. Guys, I don't have a card tonight, so what, what do I eat? What do I have for dinner? What is happening? countering this? Are you cryptic commanding? Wow. Must be nice. The answer is not always tacos because I just said I don't have a car. <laughs> I can't go drive to get tacos. I think this is probably the top two best removal spells ever printed, and I don't even know what number one would be. This might be the best removal spell ever printed. One, two, three, four. I think we're dead. I can get tacos delivered, but it's one of those things where, like, if I get tacos delivered, it's going to cost me, like, six extra dollars to get it delivered. And, like, my desire for something that's not pizza doesn't transcend the difference in cost for getting non-pizza delivered, which is, like, so dumb. Uh, I eat chicken. I eat chicken sometimes, and I also, I would eat either beans or chicken. Stand on the roof and keep screaming tacos until they arrive. That's a solid strategy. I think that could work. <coughs> Oh, I like this Jace Bellerin. Look how fancy you are. I bet this one was actually the cheapest as well. Cook yourself? Does that mean eat myself? Because that doesn't sound delicious at all. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what's going on or how infinite he's going to go. But he's drawing at least three cards a turn. Shut up and take my money. Delivery money for whatever you feel like it. By the way, taco. I do like tacos. Here's one other issue with tacos. And it's not a bad issue, but it is uh, a consideration. Is that me and Mike, we're going to probably go get tacos tomorrow night before we stream Commander. So Tuesday is, is usually taco night. So I'm wondering what I could get that's not tacos, but not pizza. That's delicious. Oh, God. I just want to die now. Oh, we are, we're at one. So I guess that works out perfectly. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I just want to die now, he said at one life. Okay, well, seems good. Our sideboard is not good against him. I don't like the light from within. I just think you never want to take a turn off to play something like that. Yes, if you guys did not know I'm streaming Commander tomorrow, please connect your Discord accounts with the Twitch accounts. That's where I make notifications like this. Also, Valley Man, thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. You are awesome, dude. I didn't mean to just directly respond to your to your donation uh, comment without actually thanking you for it. Really, really appreciate it. And I will definitely use it towards sustenance tonight. Uh, God, I hope there's still leagues. That would be really scary if there's not. There's 1v1 commander. Um, but this is in tournaments, so constructed open play. I'm pretty sure we can make a commander format. Yeah, we can just make... Yeah, we'll just play commander. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess I could get tacos, but tomorrow night's taco night. And I was like, wait, that's really generous. Thank you, buddy. Okay, let's go back to our match so we can crush Mike. You died. <laughs> oh, man. Mike is the best. I'm going to keep this hand because we can get a Sacred Foundry, so whatever. Are you playing Muldraw? Oh, uh, I don't know. Actually, we're going to build the deck from scratch. Like I said, connect your Discord. I don't have a Discord account, but I will. Yeah, get, just get a Discord account. They're free. Download Discord, the desktop app, and just connect your Discord and Twitch, and you will get an invitation to the Discord channel if you're a subscriber or if you're a patron. Both of those help. I remember to bring my horse brush today. You have a horse brush? Matthew Ori, the amount of effort you're putting into these animals is awesome. I am a, I'm a big fan. Also, those horses are legit cuties. Horses are amazing. Single so taco flavor? I don't even know what that means. It was only six or seven for sure. Yeah, that's that's a good deal. That's that's actually funny that Amazon has horse brushes. I really just want to destroy this land. Is that a thing I can do? It's not. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, man. Yeah, don't bring anything broken. Oh, also, just, just to be clear, I, we are planning on playing against anyone who wants to play against us in the stream or, you know, in, this, in the Discord or whatever, so... Oh my god, do I really want to look this up? Mark Chalice, I'm actually afraid right now. Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to leave this up and I'm going to watch this later. Dogs are great. Come here. Come on, hop on up. Come on, hey, come on. Hey, come over here. Come here. You know what to do. Come on. Come up here. There you go. 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 We're doing good. Okay, good boy. <clears throat> All right. I, I don't know whether to play this guy and tear one of these. Or just play a Reckoner. Yeah, he's like he's like the best ever. One, two... Like, him being able to play Garrick next... <laughs> Did I lose you? You never had me. I guess we'll just play this. 
We'll play this. And then we'll tear. <laughs> oh, Mike is the best, dude. Mike is a friend of mine that I met because he was a big fan of my content, like especially my, my, my modern content. And then he actually, uh, I found that he worked at, he worked at Blizzard and, uh, I was like, wow, you're, you're a big fan of mine. So you like, do you think it's super cool to like to meet me and like to talk to me? But then like you work at Blizzard and that's super cool. And I think you're the cool one. So it was just kind of like awesome, mutually beneficial friendship we have now. And, um, yeah, now we're like, like actual, like really good friends and. I went to BlizzCon with him last year, and I'm, I'll be going again with him this year in November, so. Like, the amount of actual friends and people I get to know and meet through Magic is pretty awesome. Okay, who do we kill? Who do we kill? I think we kill the gigs. Oh, it's only for white mana symbols. Okay, so it's not per mana symbol. So we're just going to kill the Garrick because we can. I killed the Garrick because I can. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, you're not going to let me draw anymore? That's rude. I literally just told a story about our friendship and uh, doesn't even let me draw a card with Jace. That's kind of unreal, I think. All right, well, let's see what happens. Wow. Why are you the way that you are? Are you going to cryptic command this? I wish I knew what the modes were. Hold on. Oh, you're going to bounce my return? That's sad. You have no class. You're like a teacher on Sunday. What's that white enchantment? Uh, here you go. I will uh, show it off for you. Just, just stop. Didn't I suggest these eternal witnesses? Oh God! Oh God! It's too big. Okay, that's what she said. It's terrible. Oh, no, that was a good one. That was perfect. Um, hold on, let me see. I don't know if I deleted. Oh my god, I totally suggested these eternal witnesses to him. Yep, let's just keep on getting. Do you have a favorite flavor text? I know I do. I just can't think of it at the moment. One, two, three. So we can go one, two, three. You gonna remand this guy? What do you have in this deck, man? Just let me live my life. You know what? We're just gonna play nighty. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's kind of. That's probably better than we can play light from light from within next turn along with lightning helix. Boom 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 ba boom ba boom boom. boom. 
I'm 3-0 in my current friendly league with this deck. It looks good. I like the way it looks. I think Eternal Witness is very, very good. I want to keep up Lightning Helix, though, in case he tries to, like, Cryptic Command bounce Eternal Witness. Like a true monster would. I'm also going to email MTG Goldfish and see if they're looking for any content creators. Reason being that I've always avoided it because uh, I've always been preoccupied with other things. Like, I was a TCG player for the longest time. I was a Channel Fireball for the longest time. Um, but now that I'm on my own, like, I feel like that's probably one of the best fits for my stuff. So, I'm just going to reach out and see what they say. We'll see what happens. I think Goldfish is probably one of the most uh, hard-working content sites out there currently. Um, so. I'm not a big fan of what's happening right now. I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like he's going to go infinite. Wow, you would rather kill your Jace than give me another card. That makes me think that he probably doesn't have another time warp in hand. Or they have another Jace in hand. And by they, I mean Mike. He. I feel like I've conditioned myself so, uh, so well to use the uh, gender initial pro pronoun of they that even when I know the opponent's gender, I actually don't say that I, I default to they still, which is kind of funny. What is seventh edition crossbow infantry? God, it's probably terrible, I bet. I feel like I actually just looked at this recently. That's That's funny, but I'll explain to you why. Twang, you're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's absolutely amazing. Twang, you're dead. That's the most fantastic topical reference I've ever seen. Okay, they have no cards in hand. Alright, this is fine. Just don't crack this and get another time walk and we're good to go. Lucky, 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 lucky. Do they have another turn after this? I don't think so. Finally. That's so good, dude. I guess they only get one back, right? They just get time warp back, and then they get the time warp. Which is fine. Oh, I like how you corrected punch to punch. I want to make a punch of pernicious dude Big Lebowski emotes. And by punch, you mean punch. Oh, good. They get to go Eternal Witness into Time Warp into Teferi. <laughs> Jace Bellerin. Interesting. Oh, I see. Well, that's good. That's still weird. I probably would have went Time Warp just to grab the Teferi. But I guess... I guess... The, oh, well, that's nice. I think this deck is unfortunately too slow and the threats are too dainty. 
I don't want to crack this because I I think Boros Reckoner is fine. How do we win this game? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I have haste. Glad you can finally catch me live. Unfortunately, you may not have haste if this is the first time you've caught me live. Also, someone mentioned that Goldfish was looking for an MTGA content creator. I did see that. I saw that on uh, on, tw on Twitter, actually. But the problem is that, like, I clearly don't play much MTGA, as you may have noticed. Wow, I can't get over that on-point 7th edition crossbow infantry flavor text. Like, that's insane. Wow. Huh. Oh, if they have part the water villain hand. Okay, just time warp, sure. Dawn charm. I think the deck has been cool. Like, we've definitely been able to win a few games with it, which is totally fine. I think it's just missing something. I think the light from within is too cute. Uh, it deals a lot of damage, but, like, you don't have enough creatures to really take advantage of it. I'm also not a huge fan of the Knight of the White Orchid. Let me look up red-white creatures while waiting for Mike to go infinite. Uh, require multicolor white red creature modern legal convert mana cost less than or equal to five let's see what we come up with here oh each player draws a card well that's sad I guess we can just have six here. Reckoner was a good addition. Um... I almost like Ceridon Yearling just as a 2-2 haste vigilance creature. Like, it can block, it can it can haste. First time catching a lime in a while? Six squirrels, what's going on? Welcome back. All right, well, we're going to go back to the play lot because we have just lost, but... All right, so let's go back to our Boros deck. I'm going to take these guys out. I don't know if Sword is even great. Like, Sword in general I'm a big fan of, but I don't know if it's great here. Take this guy out. Take the swords out for now. Hmm. I'm just looking through cards right now. Oh, hold on. What about one Iroas? Why don't we have one Iroas in the deck? At least one. We're definitely adding one Iroas. This guy is most 100% going to be online when we cast it. Let's exclude other colors because we don't want other. Exclude unselected, sure. Yeah, that's better. What about Relentless Raptor? I mean, this almost seems better, right? 3-3 three, three for, for 2 with Vigilance. It attacks or blocks each combat if able. Like, you're going to want to be doing that anyway. It's better than Swift Blade if we don't have... <laughs> Mark, no, we're just changing the deck. Hmm. Get on top. Let's sort by converted mana cost. Can we do that? Sorted by 
CMC, perfect. Because I want to look at two drops right now. Battlegate Mimic. It becomes a 4-2 with first strike until end of turn whenever we play a red. So basically, pretty much almost every card in our deck will make it a 4-2. Uh, it is red and white, so it would get plus one, plus one, which would make it a 6-4. After we take... If we took out Path Exile, we actually could be mono-red except for Iroas, which is interesting. I also don't hate Sky Terror, which is a 2-2 two -two flyer for two with Menace. It becomes a 4-4 four -four flyer with uh, Baleful Lesion play. The problem is the enchantment that pumps our guys is only outside of Boros Le Bo Boros Reckoner. It's only giving plus one plus one to things like uh, Boros R Legion, Boros Swift Blade, and you know Relentless Raptor. Uh, it's really good with with things like Reckoner and and Liege and Hearthfire Hobgoblin, which is also in the deck first. But once you take those out, it's not as good. What's the Hedge Mage? Where is that guy? Uh, destroy destroy an artifact, destroy an enchantment. Hedge Mage is actually probably pretty good for the sideboard, right? Let me look up. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove creatures and I'm gonna see what we come up with after that. Still search by converted mana cost. Let me actually, hold on, we'll actually move this over here so we can all take a gander. Uh, Battlegate Mimics, all right. Boros Guild Mage is okay. What's the Legion? Is it red creatures get plus one, plus oh, white creatures get plus one. So the red and white creatures get plus oh, plus one, plus one. Exile all creatures you control at the beginning of the next combat. Return those creatures to battlefield under their owner's control, and those creatures gain haste. This is actually my one of my preview cards for uh, Gate Crash for when I was at TCG Player. Not Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze. Um, I'm not super sold on that though. Whenever you about for this one you choose creature that doesn't have first strike, double strike, vigilance, or haste. Whenever you attack with at least two creatures that have first strike, double strike, vigilance, or haste, transform it. What does this transform into? Uh, deals two damage to each opponent. Choose a creature at a random. Interesting. Not terrible. Hellrider's not bad. The problem is we don't have enough creatures, right? Like, our creature count's not super high right now. We have 17 creatures. And not... And, and like... What is this? Nine of them are... They cost three or more. I think Raptor is great. I think that was a good pick. Sky Terror could also be good. And then we have a nice little dinosaur theme going on here. Veteran Motorist would be great if we had more... Uh, vehicles? More than none? I like Durger Hedge Mage a lot. Probably better than Wear Terror in the sideboard, right? Like, it just... Maybe... Like, it gets around Chalice and Ensnaring Bridge. I think Hedge Mage is probably where you want to be on the sideboard. I'm also going to put three of them. I don't know if I care about Blood Moon as much. How is this still 16 cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How is this still 16 cards? I guess because we added three and took out two blood moons. That makes sense. Oh, we're going to take out the wear tears, though. So that's 14. Um, I guess we're adding one more stony silence. Soulfire Grandmaster is cute, but it doesn't really trigger. Like, we want to make sure most of our spells trigger um, Baleful Liege. Like, that's the trick.
Two drops and four drops are what we're looking for. How many cards do we need in the main deck right now? Seven? Okay. <clears throat> I like the Iroas a lot. That was pretty cool. Spite Mare seems just underpowered, unfortunately. Remember, in, in at least two other creatures attack, it gets plus five, plus five. Tajik was actually one of my favorite cards from uh, from Dragon's Maze. Like it was just a two-two that was indestructible for four, which is great. I mean, it's not great, but it's like it's it's resilient, right? And then it's a seven-seven if it attacks with two other dudes. I think Sky Terror is better than um, Boros Le Boros R R Swift Blade. I do need two more of them, though. I'm going to give this deck one more try for this. This is a little longer than I wanted to go with this deck, but I think it's cool enough to keep trying. I'm going to grab a Tajik, too, just so I don't have to come back if I don't have one. I probably have one. I do. I have four. Okay. Okay, so looking like this so far, I like I kind of like one Tajik, but I don't know if that's good enough for modern. The problem is like it can't be fatal pushed, it can't be abrupt decayed, it can't be really killed that efficiently. But if you don't have if you don't have two other creatures, it's pretty rough. Why don't we have needle spires in the deck? I mean, I get that it comes into play tapped, but it still seems better than not having it, right? Like, two Needle Spires seems pretty good. Yeah, you can path it. That seems fine, though. Not too concerned with that. Spark Trooper seems like a lot of damage, right? Trample Lifelink Haste. If you have a Baleful Leash, it's actually gaining... It's dealing three, gaining you three, gaining you another... Eight, so this is like an eleven point life. Well, no, it's not. It's a twenty-two point life swing, right? It's dealing. It's an eight-three, so it's dealing eight. You're gaining eight, and then it's dealing another six from the baleful liege. So that's sixteen. This twenty-two. Yeah, it's twenty-two points. That's pretty insane. War leader. What's war leader? War leader's helix. I think it's too expensive for modern. But then again, like a lot of these cards are going to be too expensive for modern. Do you just want Durger Hedge Mage in the main deck? Like maybe two Durger Hedge Mages? It seems good. Put two more Blood Moons in the sideboard. I guess we could go Helix. We are kind of burning them out. Also, this is the Lightning Helix we want here. I feel like Boros Charm is probably just better than Helix though, right? Like, it's two mana, but it deals like... You don't gain the life, but if you have Baleful as you do. Yeah, I'm just going to add two more Boros Charms. So I had two Boros Charms and two Hedge Mages. I guess we only needed three cards. 23 creatures, good amount. I'll take out one path. All right, I'm gonna give this deck one more shot. And I'm not throwing away my shot. Brian, what's going on, buddy? I was just thinking about you. How you doing, pal? 
Long time no see. I will keep this hand. Uh, Ice Crown Scepter only hits like three things. I guess it's not terrible. It's like 12 cards. Well, no, it's uh, four Borosh. All right, this actually, this matchup seems just fine, I think. Oh. Surely indecisive. Let me know how that goes. I'm really curious. Hopefully I will find you in the five O's because that'd be sick. I have a feeling they're going to... Nope. Okay. Fascinating. Reckoner. Oh, you're going to kill it now. Now that you know I don't get a land. Weird. Now you're going to kill it. Sure. Go into the face. You got it. I got Hamilton stuck in my head. I apologize. Get rid of that. Bring this guy back up. Oh, uh, no inspiring vantage, but I should. All right, so this mana base has been... Uh, now, now we're figuring out the flaws in this mana base, unfortunately. No, I'll kill this guy in response. All right, no. Just gonna trade. That's a good deal. I'll take it. Boros Reckoner seems pretty good in this matchup. So does Baleful Baleful Liege. Balefire Liege. What's Baleful Liege? I don't know what that is. Oh boy. I mean, this guy also seems pretty good. But Hedge Mage actually will kill this guy, right? Uh, what do we want? We want two or more planes. We have one planes let's get another planes we go to seven but we do get to kill the Eidolon which is pretty cool <laughs> yes let's use that ability that's pretty gas I will block because worst case scenario I lose this guy best case I prevent two and those are actually the same uh, Boros Reconaro so we're just trying to dodge two burn spells here or one Boros charm is it going to happen? I don't think so there's one Yep, respond to that one with the next one. You got it. Seems good. Okay. Inspiring Vantage is great. I don't think we care about this cute uh, Flagstones or Mist Veil Plains nonsense. I'm actually having a good time with this deck, despite our, our record so far. These are coming out, and one of the Plains is probably also coming out for Vantages. Not Vantage. Okay, that's going to be an upgraded version. Now we get to bring in Ley Lines and Timelies. Take out two Paths, two Boros Charms, three Boros Charms. Hedge Mage actually seems fine. Oh, I guess we don't need it though. Oh, we can take the Boros Charm out. Yeah, that seems good. Bjorn, I actually did consider Battlegate Mimic. He was right at the top here, I believe. There he is. There's that little cutie. I will play first. I was actually just concerned with his... Oh, yes. Keep. 
Boop. You poor unfortunate souls. Must must play. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. God, ley line's so strong. You got it. We could actually just get a mountain here. I don't think there's any harm in getting a mountain here, and it does get one of these off the board. Like, the best part about this deck is that most of the spells can be cast with both red or, or white mana, so it's not even, like... Boros Reckoner seems really bad for them. Like, they have to shoot it to kill it, but then I get to kill one of their things instead. Seems fine. To be fair, Balefire Liege also seems pretty bad for them, which they haven't seen yet, so... You got it. All right, so he takes two. And now he takes another three. This is an interesting choice. So he only takes three right now. So I guess we're going to your face. But this also didn't trigger at all, so that's interesting. Oh, I like Fanatic of Mogus. That is a dude. This is my pig man. Pig man. Those are cows. Minotaurs are cows, you stupid idiot. That's a fair and valid point. Man, they two for one themselves to kill a Boros Reckoner, and I also got to burn their face for three. Cool. <laughs> Oh, Leyline of Sanctity is a hell of a drug. Alright, I'm gonna submit like this because our deck seems super cool. Super cool! Oh, God, do we mulligan? I don't like two Baleful Leashes in opening hand, and we could hit a Ley Line. We didn't, but I think this hand is better, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to bottom you. Can't get enough of that cookie crisp. I'm going to close this guy. God, do they just, like... Do they, like, breathe the sigh of relief when we don't actually get to, uh... And we don't get turn one ley line. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, 
Yeah, we just don't have to use diseases as as jokes. That's really what it comes down to. It's not really a super big deal. It's not super hard to to manage. I don't think we want to nick those. I don't think we like it because if it's one of our first two lands, it doesn't do anything. I don't even know if I like this many rugged prairies, to be honest. Yeah, I'm actually going to add another mountain instead of a rugged prairie. I'm actually going to add two. Because we want we want Durger Hedge Mage to trigger more often, I think. So... Which we have three of in our hand, which is pretty ridiculous. And we also can't trigger them unless we hit a Sacred Foundry or a Plains next turn, which is pretty sad. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll take two, but we'll get some pretty good value out of this. I feel like they're sandbagging a bunch of stuff, which is really strange to me. I don't want to attack with figure because if they have a any spell, do they just have infinite lands in hand? Cube is coming up. Yes, as soon as we're done with this, cube is coming up. Interesting. Another land, so I'm I'm leaning toward them just having lands. I feel like we kind of have to be a little more aggressive now. Oh, all right, we just win that match. That was pretty sweet. Way to go, us. We did it. Nailed it. I don't know if I like two hedge mages in the main deck. It's, it feels like it doesn't have... It always has some targets, though, right? This is going to be the final list. I think this this is, this this does, uh, progressively got better. I, I liked it a lot. So I'm going to replace the old one. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send us like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon in, or Twitch if you want to find out how to have your deck critiqued by me. And I would love to do it. I uh, think it's one of the funner things we can do on YouTube and Twitch. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.